there and welcome back. I'm sure you know I'm pretty tech savvy and as a result, a lot of people assume I am Google certified, but I've actually never taken the certification exam. Shh, don't tell anyone until today, okay? To make it a little more interesting, I'm gonna take the Google Educator Level 1 certification exam with no practice and we're gonna see what happens. In full transparency, I'm a little nervous. And by a little nervous, I mean very nervous. Yeah, I'm very nervous. Because I feel like y'all are not gonna trust me anymore if I do not pass this. <laughs> That's the anxious side of my brain. The logical side of my brain says, Michelle, it's not the end of the world if you don't pass. You can prepare, take some of the online trainings, and retake the exam. But I would really like to pass it on the first try. Also, I would like it to be known that I purposefully chose my queen mug because I do feel under pressure. And in hindsight, drinking coffee, maybe not the best choice. As we all know, first coffee of the day is functional, if you catch my drift. Also, I have already spilled it twice, which is probably not a good omen. <laughs> Now, once I actually start the exam, obviously I cannot show that to you, but I do wanna walk you through how to get started with the exam and like the setup process, which means I need to figure out how to get set up with the exam. I do know the level one certification exam costs $10. So credit card secured. I also have blocked out roughly three hours on my schedule. I don't know if that's the average time it takes to complete or the maximum allotted time. We're gonna find out. I have water, I have used the restroom. Ember has had ball throws, so she should be nice and tired and not, you know, all up in my business. So I guess it's time to get started. Showtime. It's showtime. Oh. The very first thing we're gonna do is turn on focus, do not disturb, so that I have no distractions. Okay. Now I'm just gonna Google, <laughs> Google Educator Level 1 Certification Exam. Let's click that first link. Okay, earn your Educator Level 1 Certification. All right, before you begin, log into your Google account, select an exam and click register. Okay, well, we're gonna click register. Select your language, English, okay. Oh, we got lots of tabs happening. Okay, log into my... Google must be an email address. Pocket full of primary at gmail.com. Save. Oh, oh, I need to fill in the rest. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do password. Not telling you what that is, obviously. Oh, nope, type that wrong. I'm nervous. Okay. Legal first name, legal last name, Michelle Emerson. Um, worker school email address, sure. Okay, you're not gonna see my phone number, but we're gonna type that in. <laughs> okay, secondary email address will do the Emerson's 2020 at Gmail. Primary relationship with Google. I'm gonna put educator. <laughs> okay, Michelle Emerson and send me email, sure. And organization, employer, or school. Well, okay, then let's change that to other. Nope, that's still required. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Uh, pocket full of primary. I'm just gonna put that. Okay, save. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um, show what you know. Level one. Yes. Register. Okay. Register for an exam for educators. Level one. Ten dollars. Buy now. Okay. Check out. 1066. Again, you're not going to see my card number. Okay, it is processing. One more step. We are currently Okay, email confirmation. Okay, so I need to go to my email. We have a receipt. Okay, once you receive the email that your exam is ready, the exam will be available for eight days before it expires. Once you begin your exam, you have three hours to complete it. Okay, that makes sense. 
the email from the exam system has instructions for starting the exam. Okay. Oh, a working webcam. I do have that. Okay, so I guess at this point, we're just waiting to get the email that my exam is ready. So I'm gonna take a little coffee break. So this is your proof that I'm winging this and do not know what I'm doing. I read the email more closely. It definitely states that it could take 24 to 48 hours in order for my account to process and get the link for the exam. So my plan of taking it today is most likely not happening, but that's why I'm documenting this process with you so that you can learn from my mistakes. And I'm sure this will not be the last one, but we're gonna check in again once we actually have the link to take the exam. I feel like I need the SpongeBob voiceover that's like five days later. <laughs> Here's what happened. 24 hours went by, no email. That's fine, I'll wait two days. 48 hours goes by, still no email. Check my spam folder, nothing. Double check that I have the email address it's going to come from because it tells you that when you register. Add it as a contact in my Gmail. I do a search of my Gmail for that email address. Nothing, not a zip, zilch. So at that point, I reached out to Google support. After a few days, they got back to me. Now. I'm able to take the exam, I have the link, so it doesn't really matter. Still don't fully understand what the issue was, but we're all good, it's fine. <laughs> Technology is not our best friend sometimes. In hindsight, probably should have eaten breakfast. Isn't that the first thing we tell our students before they take an assessment? Jen made me breakfast this morning. It's like, eat a good breakfast. But here we are, having only consumed coffee, it's fine, everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna get set up. We're gonna take the exam, and by we, I mean me, cause this I do have to do solo, but you're there for moral support, right? I will remain close by to provide unseen moral support. I am very happy to report that I did pass. So now I'm officially Google Educator Level 1 certified. I am still waiting on the email that has my certificate and hopefully like detailed results, meaning how many I got correct, because all I got was a message at the end that said, you passed. But while we wait for that email to come through, let's chat about the exam. That way, if you are wanting to take it, you have an idea of what to expect because I did not. <laughs> so first of all, you will get an email when you are ready to take the exam that outlines everything you need to do ahead of time. So for example, making sure your Chrome browser is up to date, running a system check. And it is also worth noting that you need a working webcam while you are taking the exam you will actually see a little box of yourself on the webcam and I'm assuming that's to monitor that you're not cheating and stuff but that will run the entire time you are taking the exam you are allotted a maximum of three hours going into it I thought it was gonna take three hours I finished in like 22 minutes so Depending on how slow or fast you are when it comes to taking exams, just know that it's not necessarily gonna take the full three hours. It was 35 questions, a mixture of multiple choice where either you selected one answer or it would tell you to select two or three or five, and then drag and drop where you're either categorizing things or sorting them or putting them in order, if that makes sense. Now, in terms of the difficulty, obviously that is open to interpretation. Personally, I found a lot of the questions to be pretty straightforward and what I would call common sense. However, I do think I'm maybe slightly more techy than most people, but also there were six to seven questions that I had to mark for review, meaning at the end, I wanted to go back and check over my answers because frankly, I was not sure. <laughs> a lot of them were multi-select where it would say pick three and I knew two, but the third one I was like, Ugh, it could be that one, it could be that one. So even I found some of the questions tricky and that's why I'm curious to see what my actual score was. 
but there are free trainings on Google's website. There is a fundamentals training and an advanced training that you can take completely for free before you take the exam. So let me quickly show you what those look like and what my recommendations would be. Now, I did not do these before taking the exam. I don't necessarily recommend that for everyone, but I did just take some time to look through them now that I have taken the exam to kind of compare. So there are a lot of units. And when you look at them, it gives you a timetable for how long to complete each like lesson. So for example, we'll go here, explore the benefits of the digital classroom. It gives you like a blog post, some videos, some excerpts from other teachers. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, there are like practice questions. It's the lesson check. Personally, if I wanted to save some time, I would probably just go to each lesson and try to answer the questions at the end. And if I struggled with any, then I would scroll back up and find the answers. That's probably not what Google would recommend you do. But as someone who knows teachers don't have a lot of time, this is what I would recommend to you. I do you see some similarities between those questions and the questions that were on the exam, but they're not exactly the same, but there were definitely similarities. But as I mentioned, there is both the fundamentals training as well as the advanced training. So I will link both of these in the description box. That way, if you are wanting to prepare for the exam, you can, because keep in mind, you do have to pay the fee each time you take the exam. So it's $10 and then with taxes, for me, it came out to $10.66. If you do not pass it the first time, you have to wait three days before you can register again. If you fail a second time, you have to wait, I think it's seven days. If you fail again, you have to wait, it's either 14 or 30, but keep in mind that timetable gets longer each time and you have to pay the fee. So if you're not wanting to, you know, risk it for the biscuit, like I did in this video, I would suggest just going through the trainings and answering those questions before you take the exam. We have a special guest. <laughs> it has been a few hours. I've not gotten an email with a breakdown of my score or anything like that but I did misspeak earlier and wanted to correct myself. So the trainings, I showed you the fundamentals and the advance. The fundamentals is for the level one and the advance is for the level two. Duh, <laughs> I don't know where my brain was earlier, but speaking of level two, my thought was I could continue this and do a video where I take the Google Educator level two certification exam with no practice. And again, document the experience with you. If you're interested in that, I don't know if you are, but leave a comment to let me know. <laughs> Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. If you have any questions for me about the level one certification exam, leave them down below. I am not an expert, but I can try to help or at least try to find the answer for you. As always, thank you for watching. We love you so much, right? You love them, right? Yeah. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and we'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> do you wanna do it? You'll put your paw up. No, we're not gonna reach it. <laughs>